Hi, my name is Danielle Robinson. My name is Tyler David Raw. My name is Rachel Renauden and I'm a visual artist. Yes, my piece is called uh, Big Bad Wolf and um, it's uh, pretty personal to me. It's about fat shaming. So, and I went through that in my life, but it's not a sad thing for me because I embrace that now. And uh, uh, I want other people to see it as something that they can use to feel good about, even though it's happy in the top, but it gets kind of sad in the bottom with the shame at the bottom. But um, to me, it's a, it's a happy piece for me. I want to share the horrible and the fantastic with anybody that sees it. Uh, well, the piece is going to be called uh, Nothing Beautiful Here. Um, in terms of the idea of human rights, I didn't want to necessarily direct my conversation to one particular thing. And so that name in itself is addressing everything as a whole. I wanted to keep it very in your face and to the point. And I think that in itself is good enough for me. Um, in terms of the other piece I created, it's called Crucifixion, which is my depiction of Jesus. And I wanted to put it over top of that. And I think that image alone speaks for itself. And overlaying that over top of this piece creates its own dialogue for the viewers that see it at the show. So I'm going to leave it up open to the audience for their own interpretation of that. Well, the subject that I chose encompassed um, peaceful political protesting in Russia. Um, and I'm basically, although it's generated what's going on in my stories in Russia, it's more about the whole world right now and where we are in current events and how I feel many people's voices are being threatened, or the freedom of voice. It's like the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil trio. And I wanted to paint a triptych that was not supposed to be funny but more satirical uh, and hitting those points because I feel that that is where we're at with our freedom of speech. We just can't, we can't communicate any of our senses because it's a threat to, to the greater power. And um, I used a toilet plunger to amplify the whole, the whole story where it's kind of like the government's pushing out what we're saying and bring it right back out and it's coming out as something, as junk, as, as what it's not was originally intended to be. Because there's so many different human rights issues that affect me and people that I know and you know there's no way that I could miss out on doing something like this. Well the show for me you know it's definitely something that I've always wanted to do you know most of my shows have either been something that I've been asked, asked to do you know in terms of you know we're gonna have a painting show so we're gonna do it. There's really no specific meaning as to why it's being done and just to promote art in general. However this actually has an overarching idea to actually you know benefit something. This show is incredibly important to me because I feel current events, um, especially in our day and age, we kind of flip through them on the phone, they're impersonal, and I think bringing art into the situation brings a lot of clarity. And it also makes it a little more interactive and, and can personally hit the viewer. I'm excited about this show because instead of maybe writing a paper or discussing something that's important to me, like our freedom of speech and our freedom to peacefully assemble, um, as a visual artist, I just feel strongly that um, that it, it can move you and touch you in a different way than if you were just to present it in a more in a more academic way. It's it's something personal, and I think it stirs a reaction and makes people want to know more about about what's going on in the world.